Welcome to February's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is linked list cycle. Given the head of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. There is a cycle in the... Okay, so I don't really need to go into that. There's Just see if there's a cycle. We have these linked lists, and uh, here they're going to say what the position is, where the tail points to, uh, but for our actual problem, we're not going to be given the position, obviously, because if it's negative one, that basically means there's no cycle. We're just going to be given the head, and we want to figure out if there's a cycle in our linked list or not. So there's a couple ways to do this. The very first approach might be to just traverse through every single node uh, and store the ones that we've seen in some sort of hash. And once we see that we've already seen this node, then we can return a true. Otherwise, if we get to the end of the cycle and we haven't seen anything in the visited, then we could just return a false. So to take care of that, what I'll do is create a set and we'll set our current to the head and we'll say while current, uh, check to see if this has already been seen. So if cur in scene, then return false. Otherwise, let's add this cur to the scene set and we'll move our current pointer ahead just one. If we're able to get out here, oh, it's not false, it's true. And here, if we get out here, then we can return a false. So time complexity-wise, that's O of N, and space complexity-wise, it's also O of N because of this hash table or the set. Okay, so could we do this in O of one space? Well, like, if we were traversing through this linked list, you can imagine the very first thought may be, oh, if we reach a point where our pointers point to none, that means there's no cycle. So why don't we just do that? Uh, but the problem with that is, if there is a cycle, it's just going to continue f on and on and on, and there's no way for us to know uh, when this cycle ends. We can't like set a limit or something like that. We don't know how long this linked list is. So how about if we use two pointers then, a two pointer solution? What we can do is have one pointer move two spaces at a time, and one and the other pointer move one space at a time. If there is a cycle, eventually these two pointers should meet. Otherwise, if one of the pointers reaches the end, then we could say, oh, there's no cycle, so return a false. All right, so let's go with that. We'll have a slow and fast pointer. And what we'll do is say while slow and fast and fast.next. And the reason we need this is to account for uh, when the next um, node is actually a null, uh, because if that happens, then we might check for, we try, might try to move ahead our fast pointer to positions, but then it's not going to know what the next next is, so that wouldn't work. All right, so if slow equals fast, then we can return a true, right? That means there's a cycle. Uh, otherwise, we'll move our slow pointer ahead by one. And we'll move our fast pointer ahead by two. And to do that, we can say next, next. If we're able to get out of here, then we can just return a false. And let's see if this works. Hmm, well, that didn't work. Uh, let's see, I returned true. because they're both pointing to the head first. Okay, maybe I need to put that at the bottom. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there we go. So that's my mistake. Let's move it to the, after we move it one position, obviously, because right now they're at the same head, so. Okay, I don't think I need to go into it more than that. Uh, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.